Danny was my best friend um, for eight years. We, we, we were brothers, you know, more than friends. And um, you know, obviously, I started the band. I recruited Danny, and, and to begin with, it was it was amazing. He was just like me, fiery, full of passion, wanted it as much as I did. And just to watch watch him just steadily decline over the years is that was pretty painful, you know. Um, it wasn't. It was shitty for me because it, I was watching it drag Ask Alexandria's name through the mud, and it made it difficult for all the other guys in the band because he was he was very difficult to tour with, especially towards the end. But I think the, the saddest thing for me was just watching my friend just almost just turning back on himself, turning his back on himself as well. Like he just stopped caring about asking, and almost it's almost like he stopped caring about everything and everyone in his life, and just kind of shut everyone out. Us. Family members, you know, fans, just, just one day, just, boop, just, I don't care, I don't care about this anymore, and um, it was, it was tough. It was tough to watch, but I guess it, it was, it wasn't just a sudden thing. It was a gradual thing that overnight was happening, and so I guess we just became accustomed to it. So at the end, when it did all boil down to it, and Danny was like, "I'm out," we were just almost relieved at that point. Like, okay, we can finally pick up the pieces and get back to where we know we need to be and where we want to be as a group. The phone call with Danny, I mean, it, it was quick. It was uh, very brief. I knew it was coming before the phone even rang. Um, yeah, well, he, he basically, Danny just called me and basically said, hey man, you know what this is about? And I said, yeah, I do. And we just it was kind of silent for a good 20, 30 seconds. And he was like, all right, well, all right, bye. That, it was as simple as that, and um, I think it it, it it was just expected. It was inevitable. It was it had to happen. I think if it hadn't have happened, Ars Hans Andrew would have died a slow, painful death, um, which would have sucked. Because I never would have kicked Danny out because uh, he was my friend, and yeah, asking just would have gone downhill because he stopped caring so long ago, you know. And it just it was evident at the shows, in the records, in the interviews. It was just gradually getting harder and harder and harder to keep to keep him sort of even looking like he was interested in anything asking Alexandria related so it, it is what it is you know we picked ourselves up and moved on a lot of Danny's antics anyway did just cast a shadow over the band and like you said we we noticed it over the years like bands would meet us and just automatically they didn't like us before they even had time to sit down with us or anything and we, we just had this reputation about of being just a bunch of drunken fucking idiots, you know, messing up everything and anyone in our way. And, and, you know, we do drink a lot and we do party, but that's not who we are as a band. I think that took, his antics a lot of time took away the attention of what we do musically, who we are collectively as a group, you know, why we do what we do. And I think this is great. This is a fresh slate for us. And now we have five members that are just as dedicated as each other. I think people are actually finally going to start to see and take us more seriously than they ever had done before. Danny seems a lot happier in Harlot now, which is great. You know, I don't, I don't wish him any sadness or unhappiness or anything at all. You know, we've been through far too much for any of that. Um, you know, and like you just said, we're a lot happier than we have, than we ever have been. I think at this point, it's just everyone's on the same page. Everyone's excited. Everyone's ready to just prove to everyone basically that you know we didn't need ask, that we didn't need Danny to keep asking afloat. You know, it was, it's, it's a collective, it's, it's a group of people, and um, I think the new single's gone down really well with, with fans all across the world, so we're excited. We've not been excited to do anything with Asking for years because Danny made it such a nightmare, you know, so it's nice, it's refreshing.